here we are. What does backyard chicken research look like? What 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 what, what is that? What, what kind doing? of research are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I mean we, that's awesome. We I guess it was God, it's probably been, I don't know, five or six years ago since we did the first study. And so backyard poultry have been increasing in popularity for probably the last decade. Um, since some of the big cities are allowing people to have, you know, a small number of hens, usually the limit's like four to six hens per household. Uh-huh. And um, we started looking at this, like the the number of hens that are coming into our hospital here was increasing. And when people are bringing these hens in, some of them absolutely love these chickens, just like they're a dog or a cat, which some people are like, really? But they, they're actually, they're pretty personable. And so they wanted to, they wanted to give them the best treatment they could but a lot of the medications that are out there that we would use for chickens, so they're not necessarily labeled for use in chickens, but mm-hmm. we can use things off-label um, if you've got that client-patient relationship. But when we give them those medications, we don't know what the drug withdrawal time is for egg consumption. And so like if I were to treat um, your chicken with a particular antibiotic, if we don't have the data to know how long it actually takes to clear it out of the eggs, you might be eating eggs or giving eggs to your neighbor that have this antibiotic in it. And oops, their daughter actually has an allergy to it. And Uh. oh, you send their daughter to the hospital with anaphylaxis. And so what we did is we started looking at a couple of different medications. Um, You know, really, they're honestly like not groundbreaking studies that are going to win me a Nobel Prize. Um, But what we were looking at is, okay, we started with uh, leghorn chickens, which are a common commercial breed. Um, But Mm -hmm. we had access to a farm that would basically loan them to us for the study and then we'd give them back. And so it was a pretty easy arrangement. And we would uh, give the the hens medication for, you know, a single dose or multi-day dosing for a certain medication and look at, you know, what is the proper dose to give the chicken so that it's therapeutic. But then also how long does it stay in the eggs for? And so um, like if you go to the grocery store, any meat that you buy should have no antibiotics in it, right? Because if, if that cow ever got an antibiotic, there's a certain withdrawal time that you have to wait before it can go to slaughter. I and there's see. just not a whole lot of data regarding eggs because the commercial poultry egg producers, um, if you get a sick chicken, they're not mm-hmm. going to treat it, right? So it usually just gets culled from the flock. And so that's what we've been trying to gather data on these last couple of years is looking at um, a few different commonly used medications as well as looking at a couple of different breeds of chickens because they actually don't have all the same metabolism. And so we know this in dogs that, you know, some dogs metabolize things faster than others, different breeds. And so what we did is we looked at a couple of different breeds of chicken and found that some of them actually metabolize this particular medication called meloxicam. It's a a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, kind of like ibuprofen, um, that we commonly use in vet medicine. And the species or the different breeds actually metabolize them at different speeds. And so that affects how frequently you should dose them. Um, Fortunately, it doesn't have a big impact on how long it takes them to clear out of the eggs. It's still similar. So we've been trying to fill some of those holes so that our veterinary practitioners have a better idea of, okay, what can we use to treat with? How long does it take to clear out of the eggs so that I can actually correctly tell the owners, okay, throw the eggs out for the next 10 days, next 14 days or whatever it is. Don't eat them for then. That's interesting. So that's a particular backyard chicken problem because pe- these are pets that people want to keep healthy and stick around in in a right. industrial. Um, yeah. So in industry, they, they're situation. not going to do that. But with the right. number of people that have backyard poultry now, it's a huge deal across. And so, like, there's a number of people that are board certified in avian medicine. But like, mm-hmm. so I'm one of them. And but when I got trained, I almost saw no poultry because we were seeing parrots and finches and and birds like that. But it's very much shifted. Not that we're not seeing those anymore, but we're seeing a lot more poultry because it's, there's this increasing popularity because people want to have local food. Um, They want to have these, you know, animals that they know how they're treated, what's going into them that they're, you know, actually being humanely treated. And so they're, it's a, I think in Knoxville, we, they've, they put a, changed the city policy maybe like six or seven years ago that you could have poultry um, hens in the city limits, which historically you couldn't. And a lot of bigger cities are doing that as well. 